are change makers. We fundraise. We campaign. We volunteer. We create. We help change minds. We want a safer future. A brighter future. A fairer future. Hello and welcome to the 2023 Diana Awards Ceremony. My name is Kel Spellman. I'm an actor, presenter, as well as a planet and people lover. And safe to say, I love you. It is an absolute privilege to be joining you today as we celebrate and shine a spotlight on the most incredible, passionate and awe-inspiring young people from every corner of the globe. Now I've been fortunate enough to get a sneak preview of the work these amazing individuals are doing and safe to say, you're in for a treat. They face challenges head on, defied the odds and shown us what true resilience looks like. They've taken their passions and turned them into action, making a real tangible difference in the lives of others. And you know what's even more incredible? These young change makers aren't just doing this for recognition or applause, no. They're driven by an innate desire to create positive change, to leave a lasting impact, and to inspire others to follow in their footsteps. Tell you what, talk about being a force for good. Today, we'll not only hear from and meet some of our award recipients, but we also have some very special surprises along the way with some very special guests. We want to hear from you. Where are you watching? Let us know by using the comments section below and tell us why you are receiving your Diana Award today. You can also tag at Diana Award with pictures of where you're watching us from. And please don't forget to use the hashtag, hashtag 2023 Diana Awards. But, before we get on to the main event, I'd like to introduce you to one of my fellow superstar hosts for today. Hannah is a poet, writer, activist and real life inspiration. Living with a life limiting illness, Hannah uses her experiences to drive change working with organisations such as NHS England and Hospice UK, ensuring young persons voices are championed within the palliative care system. Please give a very warm welcome to Hannah. I am so proud to be here and be part of a movement driven by the belief that young people have the power to change the world. Princess Diana believed you could and we know you can and are making a lasting impact on the world around you. Now to open our awards ceremony, we have someone very close to the charity who would like to share a short message with you. I met this person a number of months ago. They were an inspiring voice to me, an honest voice in a area which is difficult to talk about. I use a hospice, I talk about hospices, and that usually makes people choke for about 30 seconds not our guest. They have been a fabulous advocate for access to care and have empowered me to look at what I want to do in the future and also to celebrate what I've done in the past, which is something I'm not very good at. Another thing that I have in common with our guest is that the hospice that I used at the point in time that I met them was opened by their mother, Princess Diana. Please welcome His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. Thank you, Hannah. I had the privilege of meeting Hannah in 2021 when she received her Legacy Award. At that time, I was struck not only by her incredible resilience, but also her unwavering determination to effect positive change. Her tireless advocacy and powerful words have been instrumental in creating change for so many. Hannah's story is one of many Every single one of the young people we are celebrating today have been on their own unique journey, driven by their own passions, perspectives, and life experience. What unites them is their courage, compassion, and a relentless dedication to improving the lives of others. But as we celebrate the achievements of these exceptional young people, let us not forget the challenges they have overcome to get here. The road to making a difference is not always easy, but as we celebrate the impact they have made, we were reminded that no challenge is insurmountable. Today, we recognize the power of all young people to inspire meaningful change. To all the award recipients, 
congratulations. Your accomplishments are a testament to your character, your passion, and your determination to make a difference. You are an inspiration to young people everywhere. And to everyone watching, these stories remind us why organizations like the Diana Award are so important. It is a reminder that when we invest in young people, when we provide them with the tools and opportunities to make a difference, they can truly change the world. A belief shared by my mother and one I am proud to continue in her name. Thank you, Your Royal Highness, for those inspiring words and for being with us all here today. Wow. Hannah and I now have the great honour of introducing our first set of award recipients. Hannah, will you do the honours? Of course, it would be my honour. This year, we have recognised nearly 200 Diana Award recipients. And first up in the 2023 role of honour includes a charity founder who empowers youth to eradicate the stigma surrounding mental health, an activist and youth engagement leader who leads projects aimed at tackling gender-based violence, and a social worker and human rights advocate who has dedicated their life to empowering and supporting marginalised communities, helping more than three and a half thousand people. Let's meet our first set of the Diana Award recipients for 2023. Congratulations, everyone. Beautiful stuff. We're now going to hear directly from some of our award recipients about the work they are doing. Let me tell you, get ready to be inspired. Hello, my name is Alejandra and I'm 22 years old from London, England. And I received my Diana Award for my social media application called Ethos. My name is Benny Alexandra Irena Velasquez. I'm 21 years old and I am from Lima, Peru. I received the Diana Award 2023 for my Where We Will Vulnerable People. My name is Amal Agarwal and I'm 17 years old from Kolkata, India. I won the Diana Award for my project called Life for Health. My name is Ahmed and I'm an 18 year old from Jakarta, Indonesia. I received my Diana Award for my project Embracing Disability. My name is Nathan Chan. I am 18 years old from Hong Kong, China. 
I received my Diana Award for my project called the Law Association for Crimes Across History, LACA. My name is Tarani Ramchandrani. I am 15 years old from Pune, India. I received my Diana Award for my project called Project Ashtani. My name is Sanayri. I'm 16 years old from Bristol, England. And I received my Diana Award for my involvement with Integrate UK. My name is Shivam Devkota. I'm 18 years old from Kathmandu, Nepal. I received my Diana Award for my project called the Buen Conda School Society Initiative. Wow, amazing work, folks. Once again, safe to say you are smashing it. Now, the next set of award recipients include a not-for-profit founder dedicated to supporting young caregivers dealing with loved ones affected by Alzheimer's. A creator and an innovator who has given a platform to Indigenous Australian artists. A founder of Nigeria's only charity for LGBTQ plus students and so many more. So, let's see who else is receiving the Diana Award this year. Congratulations to everyone. We asked this next group of recipients to tell us about their projects. Let's hear from them now. Hi, my name is Yusuf. I'm 23 years old. I'm from Oxford in the UK and I received my Diana Award for the Aspiring Medics. We are able to help even the odds through our online course, in particular our online work experience course which is completely free and contains literally hundreds of videos to help students make an informed decision about medicine. So we're really trying to tackle the information gap, the inspiration gap and the skill gap. I founded the Aspiring Medics back in 2018 and that was a week before Freshers Week with an idea to ensure that no matter your background you're able to have equal opportunities in the medicine application process and ultimately to ensure that the next generation of doctors are able to come from a population that look like and also speak like the very population that they serve as well. We're able to partner up with the NHS and a huge variety of schools, over 100 plus schools and charities that we're able to work with to give all of their students free access to our online courses. So it's really in our online courses that we can be a real force for change and also ensure that no matter your background you have equal opportunities in getting into the medicine application process. My name is Anika Jha. I'm 12 years old from Bengaluru, India. I received my day and award for breaking the taboo around puberty with my app Change It's Normal. Change It's Normal is an app I made to solve an unspoken problem in my community and worldwide. More specifically, the way we can openly talk and learn about what happens to our own bodies. 
Would you believe that 80% of parents don't properly educate their teens about puberty? My breaking point was that there was no proper solution to this problem. That's what made me realize I could be the one to solve it. I think that when people started downloading Change It's Normal, using it regularly and sending me feedback was the moment that Change It's Normal became a movement for, well, change. I'm actively working on Change It's Normal and reaching more people every day. As of now, my app has users from over 40 different countries. And the Diana Award will certainly help me extend and increase my impact. I am honored to receive this award and for it to preserve and intensify my motivation and drive. My name is Shreya Gupta and I'm 13 years old from Toronto, Canada. I'm receiving my Diana Award for my charity work in Canada and around the world. The theme of my project is social action. All of the proceeds of my first book, Flamingo Feet, go towards a charity called Positive and Progressive Educational Support Canada, which is a charity for young girls in India who don't have access to education. What inspired me to write my book was a few years ago when I visited India for the first time. I saw how unfortunate so many of the girls were and I knew I wanted to help. Another reason I wrote my books was because of anti-bullying. When I was younger, I used to be bullied and I knew what it felt like to be bullied. And I knew that this was an important topic that had to be talked about. I wanted to help spread awareness about anti-bullying and help kids learn to deal with bullying. Wow, what an incredible first half of our ceremony filled with inspiring stories and remarkable young individuals like you. And a huge thank you to my wonderful co-host for this first half. Now, before we continue, I have the absolute pleasure of introducing someone who plays a pivotal role in making the Diana Award possible. Please join me in welcoming the CEO, the big, big boss of the Diana Award, Tessie Ojo, CBE. Thank you so much, Kel. What we have just seen reminds me of a quote that states, never underestimate the power of youth, for within their dreams, passion and determination lies the extraordinary ability to shape a world that knows no bounds. Young people, it gives me so much joy and honor to celebrate your incredible achievement today by awarding you the most prestigious humanitarian award ever, the Diana Award named after the late Princess Diana as you embody her enduring legacy of compassion, courage and a commitment to positive change. I am delighted to welcome you to the Diana Awards community. Today we celebrate the amazing achievements of young people who have dared to dream, who have refused to accept the status quo and who have chosen to make a difference in the world. Each one of them represents the very essence of the Diana Award spirit. And for that, I, I invite you to join me in applauding them wherever you are right now watching this. In a world that often seems uncertain and challenging, it is so easy to become disillusioned and disheartened. Yet it is in those moments that we must turn to the bright lights of inspiration that shine amongst us, who refuse to settle for mediocrity and instead strive to create a future that is fair, just and inclusive. Young people, reading through your stories, three things inspired us about you. Firstly, how you embody the values of leadership, empathy, and social responsibility. Secondly, how you show us that age is not a barrier to making a difference and that every voice matters. And thirdly, how you are relentless in your pursuit of justice, equality, and equity. Your stories of resilience and determination inspires all of us, and you have set an example that we should all aspire to follow. However, today is not only about the celebration of your past achievements, it is also a call to action for the future. The challenges we face in a post-pandemic world are vast and complex. 
some of which we have captured in our latest strategy called Future Forward, which seeks to create a future that is fit for you by unlocking potential, creating opportunities and inspiring change. But we know that we have to do this in partnership with you because we believe in the power of your voice. As I close, I want you to know that you are not alone in this journey. The Diana Award community stands with you, supports you and believes in your ability to make a difference. You will always remain at the heart of everything we do and we are resolute in ensuring that your voices shape our work, both now and in the future. So please get involved and stay involved because together we can build a future where every young person, regardless of their background or circumstance, can thrive and fulfill their potential. Thank you and a huge congratulations to each and every one of you from all of us at the Diane Award. Now today would never be possible without the generosity of our partners and funders. And one of those sponsors is Gilead Science, Sciences, whose unwavering support has played a huge role in providing countless opportunities for our award recipients to grow and develop. And at the forefront of making all of that possible is the incredible Senior Vice President of Public Affairs, Alex. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate all the young recipients of the Diana Award on behalf of, of everyone at Gilead Sciences. Uh, it would be an unusual partnership, uh, a pharmaceutical company with the Diana Award, but we see that the fact that our values and our mission is very similar, especially when it comes to social change. And when you need to have social change, you need leaders who are visionary, who are bold, who are selfless, and that's actually the description of the recipients of the Diana Award this year. So we're delighted to be partnering with the Diana Award once again and as they go into their 25th anniversary and their fourth legacy awards next year in 2024. So from everyone at Gilead Sciences, a huge and heartfelt thank you to all the recipients and we can't wait to see what you do and how you lead over the next few years. Congratulations. A huge thank you to Tessie and Alex. It's great to know that there are so many organizations and individuals cheering our Diana Award recipients on. I now have the honor of introducing my second co-host for today. V, like Hannah, received her Legacy Award in 2021. She's a passionate advocate campaigning endlessly for diversity within higher education, challenging her own institutions and sharing her message through news channels and volunteer work. Thank you so much, Cal. I'm excited to be here and meet more of our young changemakers. The challenges we face in society today require fresh perspectives, innovative solutions, and I firmly believe that each one of us has the power to make a real difference. I also have a very special guest sitting next to me, a strong advocate for young people driving change. Please welcome Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Thank you, V, for the very, uh, the very warm welcome. It's a pleasure to be here today celebrating the incredible achievements of young people who embody the spirit of the Diana Award. V, I'm especially honoured to have the chance to speak with you again. Your dedication to equality and justice has inspired many, including myself. Thank you, the feeling truly is mutual. Changing the world must be a collective global effort with everyone playing their role and utilising the platforms that they have. Well, sometimes it's easy to question one's ability to make a difference, and your point about change for the better as a collective force is so important. When someone steps up to be of service, they automatically join this collective. No one is ever a conduit for change alone. Each one of us has the ability to help create a more equitable world, and the brilliant award recipients we're honoring today are proof of that. They exemplify the notion that when we use our voices, change really can happen. And I completely agree that the world is a challenging place to navigate, but my strength comes from knowing that my voice can change things for the better. A strength shared with all the award recipients being recognised today. Absolutely, Evie. Your voice is a powerful voice. 
As we come together, I am reminded of the profound belief that my mother held in the transformative power of young people. She recognized their unique ability to challenge the status quo and push for a more inclusive and compassionate society. Her legacy continues to inspire and serve as an example of how to navigate the complexities of the whole world today. And so many of the numerous challenges that we face disproportionately affect young people and, of course, their futures. And whether it's climate change, mental well-being, or systemic injustices, the obstacles can sometimes seem overwhelming. But what gives me hope is the collective power we possess when we work together, the strength in diversity of voices and perspectives that encompass it. And you're absolutely right. Thank you for all that you do to help elevate our voices and champion our work. It's now time to introduce you to some of our 2023 Diana Award recipients. Will you do the honours? Of course, yes I will, I would absolutely love to. The next set of award recipients include an advocate for inclusiveness and voice for disabled individuals, a not-for-profit founder who has donated over $192,000 worth of brand new books to more than 18,000 preschool children globally, wow. and a passionate individual dedicated to raising awareness and recognition for eating disorders and body dysmorphia. Let's see who else is receiving a Diana Award. A massive congratulations to everyone. And thank you to the Duke of Sussex for introducing some worthy Diana Award recipients. We actually asked some of our recipients more about their projects. So let's hear from some of them now. My name is Sanvi Dhingra and I'm 17 years old from Gurugram, India. I'm receiving my Diana Award for my project, Cinderella's Got Wings. My name is Sabrina Guo. I'm 17 years old from Long Island, New York, USA. I received my Diana Award for my project called GoPri International. Hi, my name is Onyeke Omenoa. I'm 24 years old from Anambra State, Nigeria. I received my Diana Award for my project called Los Anid. My name is Ryan, I'm 15 years old from Surabaya, Indonesia, and I received my Diana Award for my activism in education, equality, and sustainability through being the founder of the Green Plate Foundation and Embrace Youth International. Hello, my name is Masi Omundi. I am 20 years old and from Kenya. I received my Diana Award for my contributions towards improving child literacy and advocating for reproductive health education for girls in rural communities. 
My name is Szyka Gantanani. I'm 22 years old from Warsaw, Poland, and I received my Diana Award from my project called Perdesi, a global platform and community that amplifies the voices of South Asian women and femmes worldwide. That was just incredible. I'm totally in awe of all that you're doing. And now we come to our final roll of honour for 2023. The final set of award recipients include a founder of Romania's first youth-led gender equality organisation, with over 150 members across 50 cities. A student from India who has developed a low-cost eight-hour inverter bulb to provide reliable electricity to rural households. And twins who have successfully impacted 23,000 people through their Rekindled World project, which focuses on creating awareness about the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and fostering education for social change. Beautiful stuff, my friends. Massive congratulations to you all. And I'm sure, like me, you love hearing about people's works and their projects. So we're going to hear a little bit more now from some more people about their projects and all the brilliant stuff they're doing. My name is Augusta Sinha. I'm a 17-year-old from Gurugram, India. I received my Diana Award for my project called The Cloud Canvas. The Cloud Canvas is a venture I started all the way back in ninth grade when I was struggling with my own grades, conceptualizing an initiative to have a more holistic learning experience. Three years fast track, now the platform has been officially sponsored by Adobe and an official member of the global collective organization, the N50. So, what is the Cloud Canvas? The Cloud Canvas is a digital learning platform that puts the creative element of learning at the forefront, aiding to become one of the most engaging ways students find joy, meaning, and purpose in their education through the act of creation. The Cloud Canvas also employs project-based learning to help solve the motivation problem in students across classrooms. When students create, they infuse their work with a piece of their identity, leaving them with something that they can show others. This not only enhances their creativity, but also the overall learning aptitude. Receiving this award has been phenomenal for primarily one reason. It feels like the work I've done in the past three years has been finally acknowledged. With the immense privilege of receiving the Diana Award, I wish to take this platform to greater heights, to greater extents, and to the greater population. Simply put, I hope to make a positive impact in the learning journeys of students across the world. 
My name is Tanan Swachikaura. I am 23 years old from Harare, Zimbabwe, and I received my Diana Award from an organization called Ndinewe Foundation. Ndinewe Foundation is a mental health organization that seeks to promote good mental health and well-being among young people in Zimbabwe. And I started this organization with the purpose of creating a safe space for young people to experience emotional growth, personal development, as well as peer support. In my first year of my undergraduate degree, there were a lot of suicide cases and it left me unsettled. I made it my mission to ensure that in the future, young people will have a safe space to talk about what they are feeling. Currently, I'm leading a team of 25 young people and we do various of mental health projects, including monthly support groups, going to youth festivals to raise mental health awareness, integrating mental health education into high school students' extracurricular activities. Winning this award means so much to me. It means that my work is being recognized. It means that what I'm doing is not in vain. In the future, I look forward to scaling the Newe up, scaling it in Zimbabwe, in every single province, across the African continent, as well as globally. Every young person deserves to find a safe space in the Newe Foundation. My name is Shreyas Krishna. I am 14 years old from Sharjah, United Arab Emirates. I received my Diana Award for my project called Ignite Young Minds. Children are the world's most valuable resource and its best hope for the future. Drawing inspiration from this iteration of John F. Kennedy, my initiative Ignite Young Mind sees to it that children are not deprived from quality education. May they be those studying in government schools, lacking proper educational facilities, or those children struggling to obtain an efficient online education, or students with determination. This initiative of mine has impacted close to 25,000 students in India and the United Arab Emirates. Winning the prestigious Diana Award has helped me recognize that these humanitarian assistance and volunteering activities of mine have affected the society positively. I am humbled and elated to have won the prestigious Diana Award. Loved that. Massive congratulations to you all again. Now, of course, we wish we could have featured even more of your stories, but don't fear, they're all up on our website, which is appearing on your screen now. All of our award recipients now join our one-year development program and a global cohort of inspiring young people. To tell us a little bit more, I'm delighted to welcome back Tessie Ojo. Thank you so much, Kel. And yes, this award is just the beginning of your incredible journey with us at the Diane Award because it is more than just an accolade. It is a supportive community that will be there for you every step of the way. Together, we can amplify our collective impact and create a brighter future for generations to come. One of the events that we run throughout the year is Conversations for Change, an opportunity to bring together award recipients from across the globe to explore innovative approaches to social change and be inspired by your peers. Of course, we also throw in a few experts and mentors along the way to help give you the tools to make an even bigger impact. We were lucky enough to receive funding from Gilead for a special Conversations for Change event in the US. Let's look at what they got up to. You may also see a familiar face.
It is so great to see firsthand the change that can happen when award recipients come together. Together, we are stronger and we can make even more happen. My friends, I cannot believe I'm about to say we're at the end. What an amazing ceremony this has been. Honestly, I'm so honored to have played a small part in celebrating all the incredible work you do. Before we bring this remarkable ceremony to a close, we would like to take a moment to express our heartfelt gratitude to all the individuals, caregivers, and organizations who have played a crucial role in supporting our Diana Award recipients in their mission to change the world. To His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Sussex, thank you for your inspirational words and support and helping make today so special. To our judges who had the difficult task of selecting this year's recipients out of hundreds of nominations. To our sponsors and partners without whom today would not have been possible. To Giving Back Films for making this carbon neutral film and our amazing Diana Award team who works so tirelessly behind the scenes. Honestly, your contributions have not only changed the lives of the young people here today, but have also created a ripple effect of positive transformation in society. Thank you for your commitment and belief in the power of these remarkable young people to make a difference. And of course, I could not close without a huge shout out to my incredible co-hosts V and Hannah. I'll tell you what, you'll be doing me out of a job soon, but thank you guys. To you, our 2023 Diana Award recipients, thank you. I have truly loved learning about all the amazing winning projects. Please do keep bringing that positive change to the world and inspiring us all. You really are making a difference and a shining beacon of hope and inspiration. Thank you so much again. And remember, together we can and will change the world. I'll see you next year. Peace and love.